This is Daniel Larker of Down Home Farm. I went over to his place in the late winter, helping dress out some roasting hogs. He runs a pastured heritage pork operation over there. Now, when we used to do this, we'd use a flame weeder to sear the skin until it blistered and then brush the hog clean with a wire brush, which works adequately well. Produces a pretty good product, but there's still some residual hair and whatnot on the hide. So Daniel came up with a better way. Often when pigs are scalded and scraped, it's tricky to do unless you have a electric winch that you can dunk a pig into a barrel. But he had this old cast iron bathtub around. So we did about five of these to have for pig roast through the course of the warm season. So we slid a propane burner under this cast iron tub, got up to 150 degrees, and then we scalded this pig for about five minutes until the hair started to slip. And once we achieved that point, we used this pallet on a couple of saw horses you see behind me here as a table to lay the pig and then got after it with the bell scrapers. The body section goes pretty quickly. Uh, most of the time is spent in the details around the head and the feet and pulling the toenails and things like that. But all in all, not a horrible process and you end up with a very fine product that can then be either used for our own hog roasts or sold to customers for their needs. We have a lot of hog roasts around here because it's a great way to bring community together and take a break from farming and homesteading and enjoy each other's companionship and laugh around, play some music by the fire, and it's a good excuse to bring everybody together. Here's a pig roast we did a few years back you over bet. at Elk Run Farm. You guys will be YouTube famous. That's right. Dry rubbing this little <laughs> squealer. <laughs> we love this little squealer. He was a good pig. He's just a good piggy. What's in the rub? This one was smoked paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, brown sugar, coriander, cumin, a little bit of cinnamon. And regular paprika. Sounds legit. Garlic granules. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. A few hours later. I think I put too much sugar on it if it gets real black like that. No. You good like that? No. All right, girl, girl. This get together was a way to sell some peaches from the western slope over here on the front range. Uh, AJ and Nicole Carrillo of Deer Tree Farm had peaches they brought over to sell and had a pig roast and basically a late summer festival for all the local folks. There's Nick D. Domenico, and this is a cajachina, or china box. This uh, way of cooking a pig was used by Chinese immigrants to Brazil, and the locals saw their pig roasting box and called it a china box. I'll put a link in the description below where you can buy yourself one of these. This is uh, Marisol Gomez of Forge Sisters, getting some pork drippings out of the roasting pan to add to her butter. Uh, she's then applying to these smashed potatoes on this flat grill that is part of the uh, applewood asado that they set up over there. There were grilled peaches, of course, and chicken. Just a really uh, enjoyable time for everybody in the community to get together and take a break. And this sort of thing is what uh, builds community. I highly encourage you to pick up these sort of uh, rituals and habits and if that technique for scalding pigs is helpful fantastic leave a comment below and tell me all about it